a very pleasant good day my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ well once again this is your Christian brother Eric Brooks and speaking to you all from his beloved country from the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago in the month of July 2022 well brothers and sisters well once again Eric Braxton is delving they will say the topic that I'm about to discuss they will say Eric Braxton is treading on dangerous grounds well, if I'm treading on dangerous grounds, let it be so, ladies and gentlemen. Because this topic that I'm about to talk about, it is a serious topic, but it is a contradiction. And I'm pointing out the contradiction in it. We hear, we see on YouTube, many videos many, many people talk about the topics and we see about spirit wives and spirit husbands but i want to use some examples first before i go into deeper into that and we know that god created adam and eve the historical record in the book of in the bible the book of genesis when God married Adam and Eve, right? And they bring forth children, Cain and Abel, and man began to multiply upon the earth. And people began to marry them. Other human beings, that the men who married to the women and became husband and wives. Okay, when Adam, when God married Adam and Eve, the, the children that they bring forth, Cain and Abel, Cain and Abel was seeing the mother and father and see, they were seeing the parents. So Cain and Abel were seeing the father, Adam, and they were seeing the mother, Eve. This I'm finishing this now. And so it is among the human family. I am seeing my mother, I'm seeing my father. Abraham was, Abraham was seeing his mother and father. Jacob was seeing his mother and father because his mother and father was human beings as as him. Am I going correct, ladies and gentlemen? Honest way it is in all the all in all the nations of the earth. Mother and father are seeing one another, and people are seeing one another, and the children are seeing their parents. And right. Amongst the animals, it is the same way. Look the male tiger and the female tiger. Look, they have young ones. On the male is seeing the female because he has sex with her and they bring forth young ones. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. But, but the, you will hear the preachers and them deliverance preachers who say this woman have a this woman have a spirit husband and she have a spirit wives. I ask a question. Deliverance minister, he say going to cast out. He say this woman have a spirit husband. So he's saying she doesn't have a physical husband, but he's saying she has a spirit that is a husband to her. If that is true, did the woman choose that spirit to be her husband? They look because look the man, the, the man is having a relationship with the woman, a girl. She just choose this man to be her husband, and he choose this woman to be his wife, and both of them, them get married. Right. But he say that she have a spirit husband, which means a spirit saying, now is an invisible spirit saying, telling the physical woman he's a husband to her. But did she choose the spirit to be a husband? Or is the spirit alone choose the woman to be his wife? But she didn't but the spirit who choose her to be his wife, he didn't she didn't choose he that spirit to be her husband. Because in the first place, how will she choose the spirit for that spirit to be her husband when she is not seeing the spirit, when the spirit is invisible? So right there, that's a contradiction. 
it is a contradiction right there, ladies and gentlemen. I could walk down the road and see a girl, and I could have talked to her and say, I would like you to be my wife. Because I'm seeing her, and she is seeing me. And if she agree with me, she will say the same way how you see me, and you choose me to be my husband. I accept that, and I choose you to be my no, the same way I tell the woman I choose her to be my wife, first time I see she will say, okay, you're the right person for me. I will choose you to be my husband. Because we are seeing one another, we are engaging in a discussion. But that spirit who chose that woman, and he claiming that he, he's the spirit husband to her, did she have any discussion with that spirit? Did that spirit appear to her and say, I want you to be my wife? And she agreed with the spirit, I want you to be a husband. These things are not taking place, and that is not true. The spirit is invisible. He's saying that he that is a spirit wife. He married to the to the woman. Eh? Uh -huh. You understand? But she never chose that spirit to marry to her. Did she see the spirit to make that decision with the spirit? The answer is no. Is that spirit doing that? Forcing himself upon the woman and telling the woman, I'm your spirit husband. Total contradictory. Contradictory. And this is what Eric Braxton is about to talk. It is a contradiction in itself. And it is not of God. It is not of God. Because God did not create the angels to get married. And that one spirit that's telling the woman, I'm your spirit husband. He's not no husband to her. And she's no wife to he, to that spirit. Because that's an evil spirit doing that. And God did not create the angels to be married. As I said any before, if God did create the angels to married, he'd have created female angels and married female angels to them. No angels cannot marry a human being. That's a contradiction. Angels have to marry the angels like themselves. And human beings have to marry human beings like themselves. It is in order. And the order is animals doesn't get married. But animals is with animals. The giraffe is with the female giraffe. The male giraffe is with the male female giraffe, they're having sex for procreation. And he, the, the male pig and the female pig is with one another to have sex to bring forth children. Human, a man and a woman is human beings that are married in one another. You see the order? You see any human being married in the pig to bring forth human beings? The answer is no. You see any human beings married in the elephant? Not to bring forth elephant, but bring, to bring forth human beings like himself to the to the elephant? The answer is no. Are you seeing human beings married in the cow to have sex with the cow? Not to produce more cow, but to produce human being like himself. But to the cow? The answer is no. The cow had to go with the cow to bring, bring forth more cow. That's the order of the animal. Human beings have to go with other human beings to bring forth more human beings like themselves, a man and a woman. But with the, the angels now, for them to bring forth other angels like themselves, if God create female angels, the male angels have to go with the female angels to have sex to bring forth other angels less like themselves. So that would be the order, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, but God did not create no female angels for the male angels to have sex and bring forth 
baby angels, male, female angels for creation amongst them. See? So that's a contradiction. And then again, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm about to say is true, and you all will witness that for yourself. The male animal, the male cow and the female cow, has sex and bring forth young ones. We are seeing the two cows together. Ah, we are seeing the two cows together. Because look, the male cow here and the female cow. The male cow had sex with the female cow. Look, they had a young one. Look, the male tiger and the female tiger that has sex. They bring forth young one, her, her cubs. We see in both of them together. We see the male, the female, the mother and the father, the two animals, and the young ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this spirit forced himself upon the woman, human being, and say that is his, that is his wife. But he's a spirit has to the wife. But we only see the woman. We're not seeing the spirit. A total contradiction again. Look, the two men and the woman get married. Husband and wife. Look, they're walking down the road together. Everybody's seeing them. Because there's two human beings. We could say, look, look, two husband and wife going down the road. Mm -hmm. But the woman, the woman... Who say she have a spirit husband, which is a spirit being, is husband to her. We see she going down the road, but we're not seeing the spirit. A total contradiction again. So we see the two animals, mother and father, look the young ones, look they're going down the road. Look the man and the woman, is husband and wife, look we're going down the road, we're seeing them. Not one person we're seeing, we're seeing male and female going down the road. Well... If this spirit claiming that she, this woman, is his, his wife, and he's the spirit husband to her, who we only see in she, and we're not seeing the spirit. A total contradiction again. We should see both of them going on the road together. Huh? Uh-huh. You see how it's not adding up, and it is a contradiction. It is a contradiction, ladies and gentlemen. And that's the contradiction, what I've just explained it. That that spirit, he's not no husband to that woman. He claiming he's spirit wife to that woman, but he's not no spirit has he claiming he that is his wife. That woman is not his wife. Because God did not marry that angel to that woman. He that spirit force himself up on that woman and claiming that that is his physical wife and he's a, he's a spirit husband to that wife. God didn't marry the angels to that woman. He had, to, he had to be married to a spirit angels, a female angels like himself. But since God didn't create no female angels for any of the angels, then the angels in the true sense cannot be married. Because it's God had to marry the angels because he created them. And since God created all the angels, there's no female angels for any of them to marry. So in the true sense, no angels is married. That's the reality about it. I know what is said in Genesis. That is written in a certain context. But where is the female angels for the male angels to marry? There is none because God has bring none into existence. That don't mean to say God cannot create female angels or not, but he chose not to do that. Uh -huh. That's the reality, ladies and gentlemen. That's the reality. And that's what I'm addressing in this video. So it is a contradiction that the fallen angels are engaging themselves in. They are, in con they are contradicting themselves, all the fallen angels who are engaging in that. Mm -hmm. They are contradicting themselves. They are contradicting themselves. And we see it today. That the woman say she's, she's the wife to the, to the angels. 
because the angels choose her to be his wife, to be, to be her as his wife. And the angels are saying, oh, that is my, I'm the spirit husband to this woman. But we only see in the woman, but we're not seeing the spirit. She is visible. Everybody could see she, but the but the spirit who said I the spirit who said I'm I am the spirit husband to the physical woman. We not see any, and we not see any walking down the road with the woman who who he said that he's his wife. You see, ladies and gentlemen, that's a contradiction. That's a contradiction. But, ladies and gentlemen, if God created female angels. And married male angels are female angels. <laughs> then that male angels and that female angels could hold hand and walk down the road and appear to people for everybody to see a male angels and a female angels going down the road. Well, they said, get it pretend now. Keep on getting it crystal clear. And if God did create female angels and marry them to male angels, the both angels will be walking together in heaven and everybody and the rest of the angels seeing them. Keep on getting that Peter, crystal clear. And if God did create female angels and marry them with the male angels, the same way all the female angels and the male angels holding hands together because God married them together, the same way in the heaven they're walking down, walking in heaven, the rest of the angels seeing them, the two angels who is male and female who God married them, they could appear on earth, make themselves visible and walk down the road for human beings to see them. So we say, look, the male angels and the female angels, again, God got married, God married them, look, they're walking down the road for people to see. Are we seeing that? The answer is no. That's the way how it's supposed to be. That's the right way if God did create male and female angels. Am I trying to be funny? No, I'm dealing with facts and I'm dealing with reality. <clears throat> but are we witnessing that? Are we seeing that? The answer is no. So you see right there, that's a contradiction. A contradiction in that sense, ladies and gentlemen. That what the spirit is saying to the woman is not true. And that's what I'm teaching you all, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm teaching you all. That's what I'm teaching you all, ladies and gentlemen. It is a contradiction. A contradiction. A big contradiction. contradiction these angels who are married into women who are claiming the married into women and claiming that they are the spirit husband to these women these angels are contradicting themselves whether they know it or not it is a contradiction what they are engaging themselves in and I have to put it over in that way whether they know it or not but they are well fully aware what they are doing and it is a contradiction. Mm -hmm. Is God supporting them in doing that? Of course not. He's not supporting them in what they are doing. Because what the fallen angels are doing there is wrong. They like all the angels. They have no part in that. Because they does not engage in that wrong activity. They are holy righteous angels that remain loyal to God. But it's the fallen angels who are engaging themselves in that contradictory activity, ladies and gentlemen. And then again, that, 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 then again, that spirit, that spirit being fallen angels who force himself upon the woman and say that he's the spirit husband to that woman. On that woman will live for a period of time and die. Or when she die, he will choose her next woman again and say that he's his wife. And when she live a period of time and die, will you choose her next woman and say that he's spirit, that he's spirit, he's the spirit has wanted that woman. And so here we go in. Because the human being will be dying, but not the spirit. Remember the spirit living throughout history. You see? 
<laughs> so that's the that's the contradiction these fallen angels are gauging themselves in. And you know each of them is justifying themselves. The fallen angels who are doing these things, they are justifying themselves. What they're doing is right enough. Not knowing what they are doing, they are engaging in a contradiction and justifying themselves in that. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> and God is seeing that. The lack of holy angels are seeing the activity that all of them engage in. Them. Yeah. God is not blind to that. The lack of holy angels are not blind to that. They are seeing what the fallen angels are doing. Forcing themselves upon people. And you know, you know, the fallen angels, they are claiming that men too are the spirit husband. Oh my God. So they are not only doing that to the woman, they are forcing themselves upon men. But keep in mind, it's only male angels God created. No, no, no female angels. So male angels is forcing themselves upon a ma man and telling the man, use my spirit wife. Male and male. That's homosexuality. Which is abomination in the eyes of God. Because in the Old Testament, God passed a law. If a man and a man lie together, they should be put to death or stone or shot through with a sword. So do me. It is prevalent in the world today. God destroyed two cities for that. Sodom and Gomorrah. For lesbianism and homosexualism. But look, the, but look, the male fallen angels is, is telling a man that you, Mr. Man, a human being, use my spirit as man. Mm -hmm. You understand? Tell the man, use my spirit as man. But the angels who tell any man that he's a male, and the man who is telling, use my spirit as, use my spirit as, and he's a male too. The female angel, the male angels cannot tell the man, use my spirit wife. You know why? Because the man is a male, he's not a female. Wife only prefer to female. Husband only appear, ap appeal to male. So that fallen angels who tell the man, use my spirit husband. That's a contradiction. Because the fallen angels is a male spirit being and the man is a male man. That's a contradiction. Husband is male, wife is female. Uh, so that fallen angel who tell any man, I'm your spirit husband, that's a contradiction. As we see it in the physical, two men getting married to one another. That is not a marriage, it's man, male married and ma male. Contradiction, God created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Because the two men get married together, they can have a much sex to one, with one another, they can bring forth no children. So that's a contradiction. God created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Male and female. That's the blueprint. That's the order. According to the scripture, God has set it through from the beginning. Then he made male and female from the beginning. Right. Christ mentioned that. And that is the teaching of the Bible. So you see? But the angel tell any man, use my spirit as man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A contradiction. A contradiction. A contradiction, ladies and gentlemen. A contradiction. That fallen angels who tell that man, use my spirit as man. But the fallen angels want to do the, you want to hear sex with the man? To bring forth angelic beings out of the man for ch children, but our fallen angels were able to do that. Mm -hmm. That fallen angels were want to, well, you want to have sexual intercourse with the man to produce an angelic baby out of the man? That can't happen. <laughs> that can't happen, no way. <laughs> because that man is not a female angel, so that can't happen. So that's a contradiction. I'm pointing out the contradictions, ladies and gentlemen. The absurdity of it. And the ridiculousness of it, ladies and gentlemen. 
ridiculousness of it and contradictory of it. It is a contradiction, ladies and gentlemen. Because this human being, human beings, is not walking around saying, I'm going to choose a spirit to be my husband. It is the angels who are doing these things to human beings. Human beings is not going down the road no woman going down the road and say, I'm going and choose our angels. I'm going and choose our angels to have sex with. Is human is spirit doing that? No human beings are not going down the road and saying, a man is saying, I want an a female angel to be my wife. You see human beings doing that? No. You see you is no you no woman are going down the road and saying, me or no human beings like myself, nah? are going down the road to, to get our angels to be my husband. Yes, we not human beings is not gauging themselves in that, and human beings is not doing these things. Uh huh. It's the fallen angels forcing themselves upon people, men and women, and telling the woman, "I your spirit husband." And the fallen angels forcing themselves upon a man and telling the man, "Use my spirit husband." Yeah. Use my spirit husband. Yeah. Or he fallen angels is telling the man also, use my spirit wife. But the man who tell it, but the fallen angel who tell the man, use my spirit wife. He's a male angel and the man is a male. Contradiction. <laughs> Have you all seen the contradiction I'm pointing out? Yes, brothers and sisters. And that's what it's taking place. Total contradiction, contradiction, contradiction. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Well, brothers and sisters, I hope that you have learned from this video that I point out the contradiction that is taking place, ladies and gentlemen. Between the fallen angels who are, the, who are forcing themselves upon human beings, men and women, and making these claims, which is a contradiction. But if God had created female angels for the male angels, then all these contradictions would have been out of the window. They would not exist in the first place. You know why? Because God had created female, if God had chosen to do that, he'd have created female angels for the male angels, and he'd have married the male angels to the female angels. So you will see husband and wives now between the male angels and the female angels. Ah, uh, you see? But that don't mean to say, since God didn't create no female angels for the male angels. God haven't done anything wrong or no? He just choose not to do that. He just choose not to do that. Is Eric Braxton upset and vexed with God? Is Eric Braxton upset with God and vexed with God for not creating female angels for the male angels? Of course not. Of course not. I'm not vexed with God and I'm not upset with God concerning that. Mm -hmm. Then if I if I upset with God and vex with God concerning that, then I want to claim I'm bigger than God. And with all the upset I is and and, but you know it, uh, people will be upset with God concerning that. Yeah. And he, they will say, why he didn't level the playing field? He created male and female. Look, he created male and female animal, human beings. Why he didn't create female angels for the male angels? He didn't level the playing field. And they want to say, hmm. Yeah, later. And they want to blame God and all these things for that. But all the blame, blame, but they only blame the game, no? Mm -hmm. They are bigger than God. Is God do that? God decided to create no male, female angels for the male angels. And that's what it is. That's how it is. We can't do nothing about that human beings. Because when God created the angels, we no man, we wasn't in existence as yet. So we human beings have no choice in that matter. <laughs> we could swell up with face how much we want. 
we can't change that at all. Because when God created the angels, human beings wasn't in existence. So we have no choice in that matter. We was not in existence at that time when God created the angels. So we human beings can swell up with face down here how much we want, how big. At the end of the day, we can do nothing concerning that. We can do nothing concerning that. We human beings, and I'm speaking on behalf of all mankind, the human beings, we can do nothing about that. Because it's God created the angels before human beings. We could do anything about that? We could change that reality? And the answer is no. Uh-huh. We can do nothing about that. But accept the facts, and I already accept that facts. I tell it, teaching you all to accept it now, that God created the angels that way. Uh -huh. Male angels are no female angels. And that's it. What we could do about it? Can I ever do anything about that? The answer no. What you could do about that? Other human beings like yourself. Well, you, the same way like me, you all can do nothing about that, but accept that facts and that reality. Mm -hmm. And all all this swelling up all your face. Oh, why God didn't create female angels for the angel, for the male angels? Mm, all you can't create none for them either. All you can't even create our ants. All you want to create, want to create female angels to give to the male angels. All you only wasting and fooling all yourself. You don't have the power to do that in the first place. <laughs> you see? I had to talk to them in that way. Yeah. I have to talk to them in that way, ladies and gentlemen, so they will understand what I'm telling them. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's the reality, ladies and gentlemen. That's the reality. That's the reality about the matter. But is it a contradiction? It is a contradiction. And I hope you all see the contradictions that I point out in these videos. That is taking place. I want a wife. I had to go down the road to see a human being like myself and pick up a nice lady, a girl in the village or in the town or in the city or in the countryside and say, introduce myself to her and say, I would like you to be my wife. You expect me to go somewhere and leave out human beings? Don't look for a young a lady, flesh and blood woman as myself to marry her, to be my wife. But go looking for angels to marry her. Are angels? How first? How will see the angels to say you, Mr. Angels, come? I want to marry to you. How will see the eyes? I see any angels? I see in human beings like myself. Look the woman and them passing me. Is them other tell? I want one of them to be my wife. You will see me walking down the road. Telling my friends or my, my parents, I'm going to look for angels today. A nice angel to marry her for she to be my wife. The answer is no. Are you seeing human beings doing that? The answer is no. Are you seeing women doing that? When I look for hus um, angels to be the husbands? The answer is no. Are you all seeing human beings going on the road or up the road to look for are you seeing men going up the road or down the road looking for female angels to be their wives? The answer is no. Are you all seeing human beings, women, going up the road or down the road going to look for male angels to be the husbands? To be the husband? The answer is no. Uh huh. Right. The answer is no. And I know all you know that. Right. So from these two examples that I've drawn, I hope you, are, you all catch the principle and understand the principle that what I'm teaching you all in this video. So it is a contradiction. It is a contradiction. It is a contradiction. It is a contradiction, ladies and gentlemen. It is a contradiction. Of that type of activity it is a contradiction ladies and gentlemen a contradiction mm -hmm. 
Well, brothers and sisters, I hope that you all will watch this video and learn from it. And check out everything what I'm saying from the scriptures. And you all will see what I'm telling you all is the truth. Right? And that's the reality about it. That's the reality about it. So, so that's the reality about it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the reality about it. That's the reality about it. Human beings have to marry the human beings. Because God created Adam and Eve. Before he didn't create Adam, before, before he bring Adam and Eve, he created the animals. Male and female animals having sex with one another to bring forth Adam and the animals. So you see, it is in order. You see? You see? But before he created the animals and the human beings, there was the angels. And if he did create female angels, that would be the order amongst them. Male angels having sex with female angels because God had married the male angels with the female angels. And that's how it would be amongst the order of the angels with the animals, male and female animals, male and female, male and female human beings. But before the animals... And the human beings come into existence. Remember, the first things God created was the angels. So that it had be starting from the angelic orders first. Male angels with female angels, you see? Male and female, you see? And then male and female animals, male and female human beings, you see? So everything that be in order. But since God did not only create male angels and no female angels, for them to get married to any female angels, but only create male angels, Because that's what he do before he create the animals and before he create mankind. So, because he, the first thing he created was angels, but only male and no female. But a lot of people when accept what I say, they will reject all what I say in this video because they they have other teaching other books teach that they are male and female angels. You see, but they can't prove that from the scriptures. But they have other books teaching the doctrine, philosophies, in her cult philosophies and teachings that they are male and female angels. And in the New Age religions, they teach are male and female angels. And I show in that teaching that they teach are male and female angels. I wonder if they just teach that the male and female angels are sex with one another and bring forth angelic beings, babies. Yeah, showing that teaching with, yeah, outside the Bible that teach yeah, male and female angels, that the male angels are having sex with the female angels, and they have having procreation among themselves, bringing forth other angelic babies. And these angels are coming out like babies and growing up and becoming be, um, big angels. Is that what they teach in another doctrine? I would, that would not surprise me, because they don't teach another teaching they are male and female angels. So they may say the female angels having sex with the male angels and maybe and they married and all kind of thing and having procreation amongst themselves. On that teaching will teach all of that? Will teach people that? Outside the Bible? But that teaching is not in harmonized with the Bible. And the Bible doesn't teach that. But that is a teaching outside the Bible. And many people will accept that. And many people already accept that. But can they prove that? The answer is no. Simple, simple. Simple, simple, ladies and gentlemen. Right? So that's why I say in that context, many people reject what I'm saying and hold on to that teaching where different authors write that they are male angels and female angels. And maybe they have sex and bring forth other baby angels in the spirit world, or in the spirit realm, as a, the different terms of the called the invisible world, the spirit world. Hmm? Yeah, many people will run around with that and go, around with that, go along with that teaching. I reject what the scriptures teach. That there's only male angels. But can they prove that in all that teaching they read and they accept? Can they prove that that teaching is true? That philosophy and ideology is true? From what the Bible teach? 
but they, are go, they go along with it. You only want to tell them and reveal the truth to them. Well, I tell them the truth, but a lot of them will reject me since I'm a human being, says as them. They'll say, who is he? Eric Braxton. That telling me these things, that there's only male angels and no female angels. Uh, who is he? When God created the angels, he, he, was, he was there in existence. So no, did he see that God only created male angels and no female angels? Who tell you that? He only talking him out of. You just only saying that that is his personal opinion. The like pastor tell you that or you read that in a book. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When God created the angels, how he know that? Uh, he's just a so-called charlatan from Trinidad and Tobago talking this nonsense talk. Who teach you that? How we arrived to that understanding? Did any angels appear to he and tell you that? And give he that personal information? That when God created them, the angels tell you, you know, God only created we male and he didn't create no female for we. Uh, did he get that information directly from any of the angels that God created? The only thing, the reasoning, they're going in the mind. And they will talk that. I know that. So I'm telling them, I already know that. Uh, so I'm telling them, aware of the, the thinking process and the talk, they will talk that. Yeah. Did any angels appear to here and tell you that personally? Uh huh. And since no angels in appear to tell you that, how we arrived at that understanding. You see? All you see, all the kind of reasoning, the thinking in the, in the mind. I know that. I know that. Think I know that? That's why I'm mentioning them. Mentioning that. To let them know I'm aware how they're thinking. I'm not ignorant of that. I want them to know that. <laughs> yeah. And so you see these people believe in there's other teacher and accept that. But reject what I see. And I know that. I know that, ladies and gentlemen, fully well. <laughs> but that's the reality. That's the reality. That's the reality, ladies and gentlemen. That's the reality. Mm -hmm. Well, brothers and sisters, we have to come. Uh, I have to come to the conclusion of this video. So, so I just hope and I just hope and pray that you all will search the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation, and you all will see what I telling you all is true. What the scriptures are telling us is true. Because I'm letting you all know as I bring the curtain down on this video. Boys and girls show the international landscape, the international community. That if God did create female angels, he'd have mentioned them in the Bible. They saw it be in the Bible. Michael, Gabriel, Lucifer. Because these names is in the scriptures. Uh -huh, I'm not making up this. It is in the scriptures for everyone to see. The angels are mentioned. Michael, you all read about Michael, Lucifer. Isaiah and Gabriel. Then you'd have see the female angels they mention Sharon, Judy, and Mary. Then you will know they are male and female angels. But we not see no Mary, no Judy, and no Sharon, female angels. You see? God will not hide that from me at all. <laughs> you see? It'll be structured that way in the Bible. Ladies and gentlemen. So we don't know right there. There's male and female angels. For one and all to know. But is that way it is in the script? No. It's only male angels are mentioned in the Bible. That's the that's the fact. That's the facts. That's the fact, ladies and gentlemen. That's a fact. Okay, brothers and sisters, what's nice? Having to join you all and to, and to teach you all this. I know that name, but in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hope to see you all soon in the next video, of course, in, a short, in the shortest possible time. So bye bye, my friends. And I said, read the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation. Right? Okay. Bye bye. See you all in the next video soon. Shalom, peace. I come in the summer. I remember that talking to her. I want to do something.